what's up guys, it's Daniel and me. <laughs> well, what's up guys, this is Daniel in Houston from Arms Family Homestead. Good. And of course we got Bella, Bella down here. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna give you our top five reasons why we think goats are our favorite animal to have on a small homestead, right? Yeah. You like goats? Yeah. All right, let's get into it. What are you doing in that bucket, little goat? So today's video is a collaboration between four channels. Uh, first off is yours truly, of course. I'm gonna be giving you my top reasons why I think goats are my personal favorite animal on a small homestead. And then we've also got Dutch from Keeping It Dutch. He's gonna be talking to us about hair sheep. What, what bear, quit, buddy. And then we've got Al Lumna over at Lumna Acres. Al, as everybody knows, he's the pastured pig guy. Al loves talking about his pigs and butchering his own pigs and things like that. And uh, then finally, we've got um, Austin over at Homesteady. I don't know if you guys follow Homesteady or not. We've never really talked about him much on our channel. Uh, he's gonna be talking about dairy cows and why he believes dairy cows are so important on his homestead. Uh, so let's dig right into my favorite, the meat goats. So here we go. My favorite is baby goats and big goats. So we'll start with number five and work our way down to number one. For me, uh, number five is brush control. As you can tell, I live in a very wooded area. Um, the goats are kind of pinned up right here in a small lot, but they spend a lot of time in the spring and summer and fall out in the woods. Uh, I don't have a lot of good pasture, but these goats do an excellent job of keeping trees trimmed up to about six foot tall. Um, goats love to browse. They don't graze like a sheep or a cow or a horse. They're more like a deer and they nibble uh, the tips of plants. So they're not just going to come in and just um, if they have the option like out here they graze it short because they only have so much to choose from. But out when they're turned out on, on the in the woods they browse. They eat the tops of plants and they prefer leaves off of trees and shrubs. So for me they do an awesome job of brush control. So that's number five. Babies are eating. So reason number four that I believe meat goats are one of the best homestead, small homestead animals is meat. <laughs> Hello, meat. Uh, we've never butchered any of our own goats. I have eaten goat in the past and it's actually really good. It's really healthy meat. Um, I did a little bit of research before this video and according to the uh, Alabama Co-op Extension Service. This is my favorite goat. That's your favorite one? This, this one's name is Brownie. Brownie, okay. Well, let me finish what I'm doing real quick, okay? Okay. So, according to the Alabama Extension Service website, 63% of all red meat consumed worldwide is goat, goat meat. Worldwide, uh, goat is probably one of the top red meats consumed around the world. Compared to American beef, it's lower in fat, calories, and cholesterol because goats are just a leaner cut of meat. They don't have near as much fat on them as beef. So with reason number four being meat, that leads me to reason number three why I believe goats are a good, uh, are my favorite homestead animal. And that is profit. Um, goats make a awesome small business for a farm. Uh, to, they, give, they allow us to have a, a farm tax write off like it would if we had cattle or something, uh, but they're so much easier to care for than cattle. But goats, uh, with them being so popular, such a popular red meat worldwide, and with uh, the United States the way it is, I really don't need your help, Bear. Uh, with immigration the way it's been over the last couple decades, goat meat is very popular with ethnic and Hispanic people, and uh, that means goat meat is on the rise in the United States. Um, 
I, I don't see it in any of our local grocery stores and we probably won't for a long time. I, I think there are some places in the United States it's available in the grocery store. Um, but I don't, I don't think that, that it's out of the question that it could be available in grocery stores someday. So as far as a small business enterprise, now what? You're gonna come help too? Seriously? Can you move please? Huh? Can you move? They don't need to see your butt. So for a small business, for a f small farm business, I believe goats are a perfect entry into the homestead world, small farm, hobby farm, things like that. Um, to help teach you, let you learn the ropes and figure out all the tax breaks and... Dude, really? This is ridiculous. So, goats, uh, my, t my number three reason is profit. They, they, they are profitable. If you manage them right on your small farm and you're not, you know, putting too much feed into them, if you're doing like me and turning them out on brush and letting them control the, the brush and the weeds and things, you're not putting much, that much money into them, make a good little small business for your farm. <laughs> she wouldn't be still long enough, would she? Feels weird. So that right there leads me to reason number two. Goats, <clears throat> to me on a homestead, are one of the most kid-friendly animals. I mean, Houston is out here every day. Look at this. Here comes his little goat, Skip. I mean, that is just a awesome kid-friendly little small animal. It's even, it's gold. This baby is gold. It's gold. She got some gold on her head. Think so? So goats are very kid friendly. You know, if you get out here with cattle or horses or, or larger livestock, um, it's a little bit more dangerous. About the only thing with him I have to worry about is, is when I'm feeding, the does get kind of pushy, and I don't really let him in with the bucks too much, um, just because you never know with those guys. But with small kids, I mean, look at Houston. He's surrounded by goats over there. It's awesome, kid friendly way for them to get involved in what's going on on the farm or homestead. You know, and, and they can learn like that. They can, that's just, it's awesome for kids. There you go. So having these little guys here on our homestead allows these little guys here to learn about life, life and death and how life is created and how life sometimes ends. You know, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a circle of life and I think it's important for our kids to learn that. And goats are an awesome way to teach kids about the circle of life. Go get you something to eat too, little baby girl. So, with all that being said, my number one top reason why I think goats are my favorite and probably would be your favorite animal to have on a small homestead, small farm, hobby farm, is goats are just fun. They're, they're a blast. You know, when's the last time you, lo speaking of fun, I've got a goat, get out of here. I've got a goat trying to eat the backside of my camera. Okay, could you give me a little space, please? When's the last time you pulled up your phone to watch funny sheep videos or funny pig videos or funny cow videos or funny chicken videos? You get on Facebook and if there's a funny farm animal video, it's goats. It's baby goats jumping. It's it's uh, it's like Jason from Coghill Farm and his goat Tip. Tip is a bona fide nutcase. We love him to death. Ain't that right, Tipper? <laughs> Super friendly. Highly, highly entertaining. Especially Tip. Tip is a fool. Loves to play with the dogs. That's the funniest little animal that you've ever seen. Baby goats and even bigger goats, they're just fun. They're a stress reliever. They, they're just an animal that you can come out here and, and they all have their own little unique personalities and you get to know them even though, you, you get to know them, but even though if you plan on using them for, for meat, for your table, they're just fun to be around. They're awesome animals. And on a small farm, things, you know, small farm, large farm, whatever it is, work builds up on you. Things build up and you kind of get stressed out sometimes because there's a lot going on and you get behind and things like that. And uh, I can just come out here with Houston and Emily or whoever wants to come out here. Sometimes it's just me and sit and, and watch these baby goats climb all over each other and climb on their mamas and, and just run and play 
and uh, they're just awesome animals to have around on a small farm or a homestead whatever you want to call it so there you go guys there are my top five reasons why I think goats are for at least for me my favorite animal to have on a small homestead so as I said earlier this is a collaboration video between four channels so I'll leave uh, a, a card here go check out those videos and some links in the description box below be sure to go check out all the other channels on this collaboration I'm not saying goats are the only animal to have on a homestead obviously I love chickens um, you know I love everything. <laughs> you love everything there's nothing wrong with hair sheep or cattle or anything uh, right now for us and where we're at in life goats are our favorite okay so be sure to go check out keeping it Dutch Lumna acres and homesteady and be sure to leave a comment on their videos and tell them goats are the best because I think they are I think a lot of people do guys thanks for watching Y'all have a great day, and as Houston always says, We'll see you on the next video. You got Skip's bottle? Yeah. Think she's hungry. Dun, dun, there she is. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, man. Look at all that milk. Look at that.